Good morning, amigos. So what we've got going here today is a couple of condor agates. I guess it's actually a few, not a couple. But these come from Argentina. They're really interesting. Uh, you never know what you're going to get inside of them. Uh, the colors range from red to orange to greens, yellows, blues, all sorts of stuff. Sometimes there's banding, sometimes there isn't. Sometimes there's geodes, sometimes there isn't. We're cutting these open today just so we can show you the variety that you get in these. I realize that my workbench is a little dirty. Sorry, it's just not that important to me. All right, well, here we go, the big reveal. First one, let's see it. Boom. That is the coolest one of the three, for sure. Uh, that one on the right actually looks a bit like a poker chip. Or maybe I'm just, I have a gambling problem. But nevertheless, that is cool. As you can see, I left a little bit of a ledge there that I'm going to need to trim off with the saw. But that is a cool piece. Second one. Not quite as uh, symmetrical on the inside, but it's got all sorts of different colors and some crazy banding in there. That'll all get brought out really well when I uh, polish that up. But as you can see, there's just all sorts of crazy uh, colors in there. And last, and also in my opinion least, we got this little guy. I mean, it's interesting. I've never seen a rectangular geode like that inside one of these, uh, but it, again, it just speaks to the, the variety that you get in these little guys. So we're gonna move on now to polishing. Uh, what I uh, have going on here is a, is a piece that I cut a long time ago, and no, there's not an earthquake going on. I am just grinding it on my flat lap at 80 grit, and it's shaking the table real bad. But I'm just showing you that this is how we started off. We always uh, grind it down and get a flat edge on it, or a flat-ish edge. Um, so there you have that, and you're going to see that the following uh, polish wheels are going to take those marks right out of that. So those are the pads I use. You can buy them on eBay uh, for about 12 bucks for the set. Put them on the old uh, rigid random orbital sander. Just after the uh, 100 grit, you can see how much it clears up, all those uh, scuffs. And it actually turned the agate a different color. <laughs> nope, actually I messed up and I did two different rocks. But uh, anyways, this trust me, this rock was just as bad as the first one. So I'm moving through the different grits here. And uh, you know, you, you really don't have to spend a whole lot of time on them. You know, the, the 100 and 200 grits are the ones that you're gonna wanna take the most time on the rest of them you know maybe a couple minutes on each grit all the way up to 6,000 is how high I go some people only go to 3,000 but I'm not some people now you can see that you get a really nice mirror shine on this but there's still a little bit of ghost uh, I guess it's the only way I can say it. you can see it there on the, on the left they have some little kind of like imprints and so what I like to do after this is take a polish wheel load it up with some cerium oxide as you see right there make almost like a little clay on there strap that bad boy onto my flat lap I guess it's a diagonal lap I uh, get a whole lot of water going on it a lot of people like to use it dry but I find that the, the dry uh, substance tends to hang the rock up and so you get a lot smoother of a, uh, a, a polishing experience by uh, keeping it wet it only takes a couple seconds. This isn't uh, time lapse. This is real time. You're going to see I only need it on there for about maybe 10, 15 seconds. And that's going to get that really glass like polish on it that you want. Give a little washy washy. And 
and there you go. You can see that it removed all those little f kind of faded ghostings on there and you got just a really nice glass-like finish on it now. So that's how I do it. And the last uh, thing I do is find where it's gonna live with the rest of its friends. I've polished all those. Uh, I think I've got carpal tunnel from it. And I think I'm gonna put this guy right here. Thanks for watching, we'll have more videos later.